it's Mr. Baumgarten with another two Kinto programming in Python video for you. And at the end of our last video, we had this entry box and button combination working where I would simply type in my name and in addition to changing color, the click me would then change the label to a greeting. Now, one thing that does tend to happen uh, fairly commonly with GUIs or graphical user interfaces is the little pop-up dialog boxes. Uh, and being able to wanting to be able to use those to either communicate a message or just simply get a simple text message kind of response back from the user. So today I'm going to take this program and modify it so that when we cl click the click me, uh, it will pop up with a dialog box asking for us for our name, and then we'll close that and pop up a new text box that just has the response instead of editing the form itself. So how would we go about doing this? First of all, we have to change our import statements. Well, not change, but add to our import. We want to, from Tkinter, we want to import the message box. And we also want to, from Tkinter, we want to import the simple dialog. And those are the two uh, types that we'll use. So the message box is the, the print a message and the simple dialog is the ask a question dialog. Right, so instead of, we'll use those instead of the label and the entry box. We'll get rid of both of those and then we will change the code for what our button does. So at the moment if I just run this right now we'll just have the button appear on screen and it will do nothing when I click it. Alright, so we've added the button. So now let's make a dialog box appear first of all. Uh, and I am going to save the contents of the dialog box into a string called name uh, because once again I'll ask for their name. So a simple dialog it helps if I can spell it correctly, dialog.ask. And you'll see here there's three different types of things we can ask for. We can ask for a float, which is a number with decimals, an integer, which is a number without decimals, or a string. So we'll use a couple of these in this little video just to demonstrate both of them. So but I'm going to ask for a string, uh, and I give it both a heading or a title and the message. So um, enter info and then what is your name? There we go. And let's get rid of that pass. We don't need that anymore. That's just a placeholder for an empty function. Right, and let's now display a message box. So it's just message box dot show info. Again, there's three different types of message boxes. There's the info, the warning, and the error one. I'm just interested in info for now. And again, title and uh, so greeting title and message. So uh, I can just put in an F string here, hello name. All right, so if I save this and run it, now when I cl click on the button, it'll run this function that'll get a simple dialog asking for a string with enter info, what is your name? So I can click that, there we go. Enter info is the title and then what is your name is the little prompt. So if I say Mr. Baumgarten in here, when I click OK, all right, what I've typed will go into name and then uh, we'll get a message box to appear to show info. And there it is. Hello, Mr. Baumgarten. Now, if I changed this to instead of show info, if I said show error, the difference you will get is the little icon in the message box. Now let me just run this again. Did I just I did do that. There we go. Okay, what is your name? Something crazy. Ah, no, the icon did not change. Hmm, I'm going to have to investigate that. I'll put the correction for that in the comments when I figure it out. Uh, but what I, oh, I, th I think I know what happened there. Let's try this. Yes, okay, there we go. There's the error box. Uh, all that had happened is I hadn't actually closed the previous program, so it was still running the old version. <laughs> So that's the error icon has changed there, you notice. Um, I have observed that this does not necessarily behave the way you would expect on a Mac. Which 
just be aware of that. Now, I think the icons are wrong on the Mac by default. So now, the warning, I think the warning is the yellow triangle. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's the different message boxes. What about those different dialog boxes? Uh, let's do simple dialog. Ask integer. Enter info. How old are you? Okay. Um, and then let's just, I don't know, message box, show warning. Hmm. Are you sure you are only? Uh, let's make this an if string. So I do the click me, type in a name, and it says hello. Now, how old are you? Now, because I have said ask integer, watch what happens when I type in a string. That's not a number. Not an integer, please try again. Right, so if if I give it a decimalized number, let's give it pi. Not an integer, please try again. So it does some basic error checking for me and will only let me proceed. Let's go 21. If I put in an integer, are you sure you're 21 years old? Okay, so you can do the same with ask for a float as well. Unfortunately, there's not uh, a date of birth one, or like a date one, because uh, date requires constant error checking, but there are other ways for handling dates that we'll get to in a later video. So, quick, short little video there on dialog boxes and message boxes. I hope you have found that of use. This is Mr. Baumgarten, signing out.